basically got three broad types of camera. You've got a digital SLR, you've got a bridge camera, and you've got compact cameras. The bridge camera is so-called because it bridges the gap between digital SLR and compact cameras. So the difference between them, the main difference between them, and the main reasons why we recommend digital SLR, apart from the uh, added quality you get with the digital SLR, is the way you actually view your image. Digital SLR you will view using the eyepiece to focus and to compose your image. With bridge cameras, compact cameras, you will be using the LCD screen or in the case of a bridge camera, an electronic viewfinder. So I'm lumping together here compact cameras, bridge cameras, four-thirds cameras, compact system cameras, mirrorless cameras. They're all pretty much the same. They will all produce good intraaural pictures. But they vary a lot from the digital SLR in, as I said, the way you focus. I would like you to be able to focus on one particular area accurately in the mouth. It's very difficult to do that uh, consistently with any of the compact cameras. You will basically have to use the LCD screen to focus with. In my opinion, using the LCD screen uh, does not uh, facilitate manually focusing. So you'd have to use autofocus. So this scenario of me taking a picture uh, of a patient's mouth today and a nurse taking a picture, the same patient six months down the line, you wouldn't necessarily get consistent magnification in particular. So the compact cameras, they are nice and compact. They are reasonably easy to use, although in my opinion they're not point and shoot. Uh, they all have macro, except for four-thirds cameras, compact system cameras, etc., etc., need a dedicated macro lens because those cameras have interchangeable lenses like a digital SLR. They all have onboard flash. However, some, camera, some of those compact cameras will take a ring flash. In my opinion, that works fine, but it makes the camera a fair bit bulkier and you still have the problem that you can't really effectively, accurately manual focus. Digital SLRs, on the other hand, uh, you can manually focus, and it's the way you would actually use these. They are bulky. Uh, they are expensive, but they're a great, great uh, investment in the future. They're pretty well future-proof. They will last five to ten years. I have. Uh, practitioners come on my courses with a seven-year-old camera. Do they need to change it? Not really. However, I always suggest that they've got seven years' life out of it. Perhaps it's time to treat themselves to a new camera, new updated model, which will be slightly better quality. They are point-and-shoot cameras. Digital SLR setups are point-and-shoot. If you've got which we'll be talking about later, an off-the-shelf camera, that's not as point-and-shoot as a dedicated kit. But I'll explain why that is uh, later on. They will give you consistent results. However, digital SLRs can give as inconsistent results as uh, compact cameras uh, if you don't get the settings right. We're going to be showing you the best settings to actually use for your photography to get consistent results and going back again to pictures taking 30 seconds so they have little impact on your surgery time really important the cameras digital slr setups look very professional with a ring flash on there a lot of patients haven't never seen a ring flash one practitioner said he leaves his camera on the side in his surgery and even if he's not taking pictures quite often it's a talking point with the patient